It's Alana here at Boston Action, and this week on the blog we're talking about door knocking. It's getting ready to launch into the heat of campaign season. Uh, this summer there will be a lot of campaigns out there knocking on doors, talking with voters about the issues that matter to them and the candidates that they prefer. And so we posed a question on our blog, you know, what are you wanting to know about how to run an effective door knocking operation? There's a lot of questions out there. People want to know what's the best, what are the best strategies and tactics for reaching voters and talking with them and motivating volunteers to go out and do this work. So we will attempt to answer some of those questions today. Julie asked a really great question about how to motivate not phobic volunteers to get out on the doors. Um, we see this all the time on campaigns. Volunteers want to lick envelopes or help with mailings or do anything but door knock. Um, when in fact door knocking is the most important aspect of any progressive campaign where you go out and communicate face to face with voters. Well, um, there are several ways to motivate volunteers, but when we're talking with campaigns, we usually tell them a couple of things. One, assure voters, assure volunteers that rather, that voters want to hear from them. Oftentimes volunteers feel that it's a big intrusion to go and knock on someone's door and ask them to talk about politics for five minutes. But in truth, most of us don't get asked in our daily lives what we care about by people in government. Uh, that opportunity for a conversation, most people will actually value, especially if the door knock is run well and in a very respectful and um, strategic way where you're talking with people about issues that matter to them on their own terms in their own communities. So just to keep in mind that number one people often will welcome the opportunity to share their gripes and their hopes and their dreams and their ideas for how to make their community a better place to live. So that is, that's one thing. Another is just to talk about the importance of door knocking. Put, place it in the context of the overall campaign and let them know that they are the frontline ambassadors for the message of the campaign when the candidate can't be everywhere at once. If they want to get more supporters, if they want to get more voters out to the polls and recruit more volunteers like them, we need to get out there and talk to as many people as possible. And finally, just to give them training and support so that they take away the unknown fear aspect. A lot of times people just never tried it before and don't realize that it's really once you get used to it as easy as having a conversation with your neighbors. So that's one answer of many, I'm sure, to how to communicate with volunteers that are afraid of door knocking. If you have other ideas about this question or others, please go on our blog at www.wellstone.org slash blog and share your thoughts. Um, we'll probably post more videos as this goes along, but please check out our organizing tool on door knocking and happy campaign season.